um, is on this call right now. So Brittany, uh, Reiko, Jasmine, um, and I'm just talking to people that are directly uh, connected, Debbie, um, to myself, Max, Margo. None of them would have joined Clarissa and myself if we were not taking care of ourselves. They just wouldn't. And I know MJ wouldn't have joined Max. And I know um, we've got some new coaches on today that Margo's new coaches. We've got Debbie on. We've got Elaine on. We've got, they wouldn't have joined if Margo wasn't so consistent with taking care of herself. Right? Yeah, like, well, for that's sure. The, well, that's the foundation of our business. So did you get your workout in? Did you drink your psychology? Did you do your personal development? And I love this, the gratitude. When you start your day with gratitude, it's really hard to stay in gratitude, right? We just, you just can't. You can be tired. You can be, um, you know, run down. You can be feeling exhausted. But there's, when you feel that, come, when it comes from that place of gratitude, it's impossible to stay in bed. So there's this section. Now you've got your reaching out to others. Sent how many new challenge group invites? Aim for at least five. Sent how many new coach invites? Aim for at least three. Follow up with previous convos. Now, I, I don't, I'm going to share my experience with this. I don't invite every single day because I have massive follow-ups twice a week, right? So I will do more invites on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, because on Wednesdays and Sundays, I do my big follow-ups. And by big follow-ups, I mean like 100 people plus that I'm following up with, okay? So, um... So that's my system and that, that's what works for me. So those other days, I'm going to have more invites and it will kind of even itself out over the week. Follow up with previous convos. Same thing. Like I'm going to do my big ones, uh, my follow-ups on Sundays and Wednesdays because that works for me. Um, initiate new connections and new followers should be daily. Check in with current customers and coaches. That can just be in the challenge group, right? It can just be in the blog group or the Facebook group. Recognize someone for their achievement. Um, so that can be someone in our group. Maybe someone in the group inspired you. Maybe a coach inspired you. Maybe you're in a free group right now that is working really well and someone in there inspired you. And you just talk about it or do a quick post in your story. Um, so then you've got the social media reminders. And then I would change this to remember to network for 15 minutes a day, like, comment, engage on other stories. Respond to new likes, comments on posts. Check into team page or with if you have a success partner and check into your challenge group. So those are some reminders. You've got the national makeup call and you've got the team call. And the reason that I brought that up this morning is because I changed the weekly check-in email. So anyone who is on Margo's team, you're more than welcome to get the weekly emails from me. I send an email every Sunday um, and you can fill out the form. It's totally fine, it will come to me. Uh, but I changed the check-in form because I wanted to have a focus on um, like almost like a tracking system that you would use for this. So I was gonna just quickly go over the form with you and then we can have a chit chat. So um, I called it the Coach Win the Week Tracker. And how long would you spend time on um, like person? Um um, and you're free to, anyone is free to fill this out. I would really like to see more people filling it out because if you don't do it, I don't know how to help you. And my time is super limited. So I'm not going to reach out as often. If I don't get these in, in the weekly reply, you're not going to hear from me as often. Maybe like if you're on Margo's team or something, she has a different system and that's totally fine. Uh, so what I did was I put, I, I switched it a little bit to be more like the win the week tracker that we used to have. So how many workouts last week, you just went out of the days, how many psychology, blog or Facebook group check-in. Like, this is where you decide. Maybe you're happier in the Facebook group. It's totally fine. Like whichever group works better for you or accountability group works better for you, stick with that. You don't have to be in both. I do not check into the Facebook group. Like I post my workout, but I don't scroll there. I don't comment on anyone's stuff. It's very rare that I spend any time in the Facebook group. I spend my time in the VOD group because I can see when people log their workouts. I can follow up with people. I can message people right from the app. Um, so that's where I spend my time. That's my choice. It works better for me, right? You have to decide what works better for you. 
but did you check into the group? Did you log your workout with your picture? Did you do your seven to 10, 10 uh, Instagram or Facebook stories per day? Did you have four to seven feed posts? So maybe aim for four posts a week in your feed. Recognition posts, coaching lifestyle posts could be in feed or story. Challenge group invites. Did you do your personal development? So right now we're gonna focus on the compound effect. Um, there's some basic info in here and that just a reminder and some links and things like that. Ask about training, uh, weekly call information. So uh, the Empower Squad team call is changing to Tuesdays at 4 p.m. So it will be moved from Wednesdays. It's currently Wednesdays at 12 and we're moving it to Tuesdays at, at 4. Um, so how committed and then, you know, a couple of, of other questions in there. So I, I would like to see more of you using this uh, as a way for like, okay, the, the best thing that I can share about tracking your business is that um, two things. So number one, you should be aiming for above 85%. We're not aiming for perfection. And I've had a, a many coaches say, oh, I can't use that because it just gives me anxiety. And it's, well, then you're, it's because if it gives you anxiety, then you're aiming for 100%. And 100% is not realistic. Um, it, it, it's ridiculous, in fact. So that comes from the 12 week year, the author of the 12 week, week year, and basically says if you're hitting 85% in your tracking system every day, then you are going to reach your goals. And what I love to use that for is. I might see, oh, three days in a row, I didn't do my invites or I didn't spend any time connecting. So I better focus on that for the next couple of days. That was how it would kind of shift my, my mindset. So I am going to go back to tracking a lot more religiously. I'm going to go back to showing on the Hangouts what I track so that it just gets more people in the habit of tracking. Because if we're winging it, you're not gonna see where there are gaps or what you need to work on. Because maybe right now, what you need to work on is just the fitness and nutrition and focusing on your journey, that top part of it. Maybe that's your focus for right now. And that's totally fine um, because that could be something that you have to build on so that you can move to the next stage, all right? Um, the other reason I shared that was because I'm working on a PDF. I'm actually working on it with my daughter. She is doing her capstone project right now for graduation. And so she wanted to do a project on uh, wellness. Um, so she, she said that she's, you know, she's watched my journey. She's very inspired by it. And she sees how influenced young people are to make really crappy health decisions because they don't think about it. They don't realize that, you know, going to McDonald's five days in a week is gonna compound into something years down the road. Right? They don't realize the effect of what they're doing right now, how much that's going to affect them 10 years from now. And so what she wants, wanted to do is create a document that would help like people her age, she just turned 17, um, with creating a sustainable wellness journey. So tracking their water, planning their meals a week ahead. It's got like a grocery list part that you would detach. And then that would be what it would take to the grocery store. So if, so we were working on that over the break and um, I want to, I will be sharing like my final copy with you um, so that you can send that to your clients as well. Um, some sort of system of success for me, it would be because I'm a paper and pen person, it would be something I would stick on my fridge and literally like check off as I was going through it in the week um, so that your clients get in the habit of seeing the success as well, right? So. So uh, you want them to aim for 85%. We're not looking at 100. We're not looking at um, setting unrealistic goals. We're aiming for that 85%. And consistently, what have I missed three days in a row that I need to know? Oh, I need to work on that. Maybe it's hydration. Maybe it's sleep. Like those sorts of things. So, so that's my, my focus for the beginning of this year. Um, we are doing the compound effect. So for those of you that do not have a personal development book, you can... Get it. It's relatively cheap at a bookstore or on Amazon. Um, you can also listen to it on Audible, but that's going to be the focus for January. In the Freshman Free to Be Facebook group, I did pin the picture to the top so that we can comment with like our takeaways and things like that from the book. And I think we'll use that, that Facebook group more for that. So we stick to our personal development, right? That's if we're finding ourselves feeling uninspired 
or unmotivated, chances are it's because we're not doing personal development because we need to feed this before the rest of the body can be fed properly. So yeah, those are my my couple of um, starting off our first hangout of the year, my thoughts. Um, I see Crystal is on. Welcome, Crystal. Crystal, are, are you part of Margo's team? Yes. Margo, are you going to do an official introduction? And welcome I am. Hi, Crystal. guys. And before you do that, I wanted to just say hi, Debbie. This is Debbie's first hangout with us. It's wonderful to see you, my friend. Thank you. I'm going to take this way more seriously this year. Worry. We're going to do this. Yeah. I had a question um, regarding it's Rico. How are you, Tamara? I see Angie the Great is on. Oh, she just changed her name back to Angie. Oh, that's actually <laughs> I don't know why you changed it back to Angie. Tamara, how, I had a question. All right, questions, comments. <laughs> um, how long do you recommend that we go on, like, um, adding people or commenting on our Facebook groups? Okay, sorry, I didn't hear what you said because my sound for some reason wasn't, the output wasn't coming out my stereo. So can you repeat? How, how long do you recommend that we go on Facebook groups and like adding people, um, following up? How long do you recommend we do that per day? Okay, so I would say that tracker that I showed you, realistically, if you can give yourself an hour. Um, I aim for, when I do my social media I aim to spend like an hour at that time uh, with, I do my post because the more, when I do my post, if I stay on the platform, I'm going to get more engagement. So that's generally what I do is I'll, I'll have my post ready, I'll post it, and then I do my initiating connections and my thanking people for watching my story or for liking my most recent post. Um, that's what I would do. And so like outside of your workout, and that top part of like, you know, workout, psychology, personal development, um, gratitude, I would say one hour. If you can give yourself one hour. And that may not be one hour every day for everyone because some people work, like I know that there's a coach on the team that she works 12 hour days, um, four days a week. So she's not going to have that one hour. She might have half an hour that she can do it, but then on her other days, she has like two hours that she can spend, right? So it has to work in your schedule. I have a question. Mm -hmm. I know that's unusual for me, so. <laughs> Are you ready for the dumb questions, everybody? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, I know. Tamara, I think you'll be very proud of me because I actually well, I'm, I'm following, now that you're going on to another tracker, I'm following this tracker, but whatever. Yeah. A tracker, a tracker's a tracker's a tracker. So <laughs> I'm doing this one. <laughs> and also I'm using the, um, the follow-up, uh, whatever it is, business activity, the people I've con contacted this week. And personally too, I know we've got a lot, a lot of young people on here, but I do like the old... This is called a pencil, everybody. Any, any of you young people, this is called a pencil. We <laughs> used this back in the Stone Age when we were young at our school desks. <laughs> and for me, because I work full time, of course, carrying this and carrying this to my job is a lot easier than having it hidden in my iPad and trying to search it out and trying to find or whatever. So personally, this is perfect for me and then I remember I can remember to look at this at 10 o'clock at night and and give someone a quick text or whatever so that's I do prefer the pen and paper myself Tamara I have a question you were saying about the so I, I, I apologize if I've dropped the ball with putting people onto your email list which I will do with the people that I haven't got on there yet and then your tracker or your that thing you wanted us to fill out is that a sort of a duplicate of this? Like, is it a, what it, what it, what? yeah. And the so, reason that I want it is because I want to know, like I send a, a weekly check-in form to all my clients too, and discount coaches. That's for anyone who is just a discount coach, I send them, and I say just a discount coach. You're not just a discount coach. Um, or I send them the client check-in form because I want to know where the gaps are, right? 
And it was interesting. I, I had a form that I was using and I, one of the things, I, like I have a new planner that I got this year for those of you who have heard of Danielle Laporte. She's the author of like um, fire starter sessions and, and the desire map. And she has these like uh, daily truth bombs that you can sign up to get her emails. And she's always kind of really spoken to me and I've done both of her books. And so when I was looking at new planners this year, I really liked her, um, her planner system. And she has a section on the weekend that you look at like, you know, what's working, what's not working. And so you look at your, your words. So my, I have several words that are kind of my theme words for the year. And she calls them core desire feelings. And then that's great. You have that feeling. How do you get that? Like how, what are the actions you take to then get that? And if you're not getting it, what's not working, right? So one of my things this year was like, okay, so I want to um, have a better system of knowing how my clients are doing and where are their gaps in terms of um, showing up for themselves. So I changed the, their, their question and I even have questions about like, water and sleep and uh, are they doing personal development because I don't I think many people don't realize that you need to we need to brainwash ourselves and I know that sounds weird but we absolutely have to brainwash ourselves or the things that we're working on won't stick um it, it's it's just the way our mind works right we talk we then talk ourselves out of the things that we want so badly for our life uh, and that could be the start of just like working on a fitness journey. So, um, so yeah, it is similar to the tracker. Uh, I just, and it's, it's more for me to be able to be like, okay, if I look at this checklist and I get a response from like Jasmine, Reiko, Debbie, and Max, and I can see like on that response, um, you know, where their kind of gaps are, I can have that conversation with them. But if I don't know where their gaps are, then I don't know how to help them and me sending a how you doing message isn't really helping either one of us in that situation right yes i want to know how they're doing of course i do because i care um but i also want to know how to help them so on that list <laughs> it said so you it'll be in your email mm -hmm. we would go in then it says monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday or whatever however it goes thursday to wednesday so do we send it to you every day we do no, no, feel no, like, okay okay so i send okay. an email on monday or on sunday and you would just fill it up based on that week. Okay. okay okay yeah and hopefully you have some sort of tracking system so you could Yes, I do want to formally introduce Crystal because she's a maze balls, just so you know. So there she is. See, there she is in that box right there. <laughs> yeah, no, she, uh, Crystal and I have been really working hard together for the last two days since she very first started. So the poor girl, she knows a lot about uh, stuff that I don't know. So I'm like, okay, what do I do here? How do I do this? What do I do here? She's going to say, get me out of here. <laughs> No, it's, it's fun. It's fun to find, or it's fun to have. And Elaine's the same. Debbie's the same. Mary Jo, Maxine, well, all of you, um, people who are like-minded, like it's seriously, personal development is great, but I, I use these as my personal development too. I really love sort of brainstorming and coming up with ideas and it just feels like Sundays. I love my Sundays just because I start off thinking, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. And then by the following Sunday, I'm like, I'm almost out. I'm almost out of gas. So I need to charge up again. So I do love <laughs> having these hangouts to, to learn what's going on and to also maybe throw in some ideas myself. They're fun. Yeah. Well, we totally like feed off of each other. Right. So if I, I mean, I give the example of my former best friend who I used to try so hard to get her out the door to go for a run or go to the gym. This was long before my coaching days. And she would, there was always some excuse not to go. And then she would 
call me to tell me about how she just ate a bag of chocolate covered almonds or ate 12 cookies and that she was so effing fat. And that's what I would hear all of the time. And I actually got mad at her one day and I was like, well, how did the 12 cookies taste? Was it worth it? Like that was, I kind of lost it on her, but if I was surrounding myself with her all the time and her energy, mine would be brought down, right? I'm not, I'm surrounding myself with you and you all inspire me like, like, I can't even explain how much you want me to, like you make me want to be better, to have better systems to, uh, and for those systems that I'm working on, honestly, are because my time is limited. Like Margo, I work full time, uh, you know, single mom, three kids, like it's time, like, and so I want to be able to help people as much as I can. So I'm asking, you guys, and I'm asking my clients, check in with me, fill out the form so that I can help you because I don't have the time to just be like, how are you? You know what I mean? Of course, I'm going to ask that from time to time, but I want to be able to help you with more than just how are you? So. I think Quick one thing, oh, sorry, I was just, sorry, go ahead. No, go. no you go, you go, because mine is something different. You go. Well, I was just saying, like, one thing that's so important about these, like, weekly things is, like, even this last year, the last, yeah, year, I guess, has been, like, such a struggle for me, but, like, just even knowing you guys are here, even if I haven't shown up to the group, it just keeps you continuously going on in your life, like, whether that means, like, just, just keeping good habits, and, like, even if you're not doing everything, you're not doing, like, getting all the tracker stuff done, like, you're not doing all of that, still you have something to like push towards. Oh, I could, you know, contact a few more people today or I could do this today. Like, it's just always like a good positive goal that's always in the back of your head to keep you motivated in a positive, like healthy life direction. So I think that's just super important that we're all here for that purpose instead of like negative things and negative things can fill into our lives so fast. Oh yeah, for sure. We, we want to be on the positive path <laughs> right? Margo, what were you going to say? I had a couple of things. One is um, I want to say thank you very much to Maxine and Mary Jo for the last month or so. We sort of have a little uh, chat group, just the triple M's, and, um, and they've oh, been super helpful. Right? What's that? That's why I wasn't invited. Yeah, no, you're a T. Okay, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been it's been fun I at least I've had a good time and, and we sort of it's fun too when you can sort of I I our, our team is awesome um they are just you know brand new and stuff so I know Mary Jo and Max have been doing this for a while and so it's kind of fun sometimes to sort of even us just connect and and do some brainstorming and Max and I have done a couple of um lives Facebook lives and I think, like, I think, I don't know about the first one, but I know the second one has had well over five, well, not well over, but maybe about 520 views so far. And it's, it, so it was good. And, and I know, Max, you're, we weren't as comfortable with Facebook Lives, but you're getting more comfortable with Facebook Lives and you need to do them because you're very smart, even though I tell you, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> That's so she stays humble, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and you wonder why I have a confidence issue. <laughs> <laughs> right? You know, every time I start to feel good about myself, you just knock me down, Margo. Well, I can't have you I can't I can't have you get too big, Max. Otherwise, you know, I, I, I need you I need you down at my level. <laughs> Real, okay, can right? I just intercept something on here? So Tamara, you weren't invited, except from talking to a friend. She goes, I love yours and Tamara's live videos. And I said, mine and Tamara or mine and Margo? She was, oh, Margo. <laughs> <laughs> so you're forgettable, Margo. It's just, it's all about me and Tamara. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Knock me down a peg, sure. <laughs> no, even. So then this is the battle, back and forth battle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Who's more popular? Oh, by the way, yeah. Tamara, by the way, Super Saturday, I think, just so you oh. know, is next week, next yeah. Saturday. Thank you for reminding me about that. Um, yeah. So for those people who are new, at quarterly, Beachbody has what is called a Super Weekend event. Normally, 
uh, this would be in person, local in your local city. So like there's one in Vancouver, there would be one in Edmonton, one in Calgary. Um, we're also in Sibley, and I know there's there's lots where you are. Um, so they would usually be about three hours where you have like a guest speaker come. Um, sometimes some of the super trainers come. I've been to ones with like Danielle Natoni was there. I've been to one with um, Jericho. Uh, Chris Downing, um, you know, some people from corporate might be there. They do the a big announcement. So this Saturday is the one for um, January. And the information will come out this week about how we join. I liked the last one that they did because they did it based on your kind of area and where you are. Because the first one they did last summer was like trying to get, I don't know, 20,000 people onto a Zoom doesn't work, right? So they broke it up into regions for the one in November, I think it was, or October, I can't remember. Um, and it works really well. There will be some announcements. That's probably where they will announce uh, Shanti's new program. There will be product announcement. Uh, I'm guessing they will announce where the Success Club trip for 2022 is and how you opt in for that. Like, it, it's super fun. And then there's usually a work. Um, so that is this Saturday. So look for information about that. Um, obviously, we're doing it on Zoom. It's not happening live because we can't. I'm really excited for live events to start happening again, though. Really excited. I miss I miss people. I miss you. So so that is this weekend. Um, anything else I missed? Really <laughs> um. No, I don't think so that I've seen corporate wise. No, just the one thing, one thing I would say just, just to everybody is, is try, try so hard to, if you don't, to listen to those Monday morning calls be, at some point, even I'm going to try and drive, listen to them on my drive in. I just listened to the one I don't, I haven't been listening to them as much. And the last one was Michael Neiman or, or Neiman, um, you know? Michael Neiman. Yeah. Michael Neiman. And I mean, he's in corporate and everything, but it's just really when you're in, 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 for me anyways, when I'm involved in a business type of a thing like this, it's a fit business, but it's a business. I do love, I love to learn about the, the, um, the history of the business itself and the, and how, where it started and how it started and sort of just really get to know where the hell I'm working <laughs> or, or what I, who I'm doing this for and what they're sort of their, their, mindset is and their what philosophy and stuff like that personally I really like that so I do like when the corporate guys are on and then you also get a chance to hear from coaches who are either newer or older their stories so I do find that Monday morning a real valuable thing that I have kind of dropped the ball on but I'm just throwing it out there to newer coaches or whatever just to try to, to try to watch that weekly and plus it starts off your Monday in a good good way Absolutely. And so that, that will lead me into like, you can find me, it's called the National Wake Up Call. So there's a Facebook page called Team Beachbody Coach 411. That's where you will find the National Wake Up Call. That's where you'll find like weekly like videos from Autumn Calgary, it's from Yulana, um, product st information, things like that. So that's one page I would follow. That's not a group, it's a page. So Team Beachbody Coach 411. The other pay or group that I would ask to join is Beachbody Champions. So Beachbody Champions has tons of amazing trainings in there. Um, so it's one that I would recommend everyone join to have access to. And the thing with the trainings is like, I can never listen to the National Wake Up Call Live because I work. I start work at eight, you know, 8.15 and the call's at eight. So. So I always catch it later that day. Um, when the team calls were at 12 p.m. on a Wednesday, I couldn't catch them live, so I would catch the recording. Just make it a habit of catching the recordings even if you can't be online, right? Because you will get something from every single call. And there have even the calls that I've gone back to where I'm like, oh, I this is different. Like I'm in a different phase of my life, of my business, and now this part of this call is more relevant. Right, so you can always go back to it and pick things up. Um, the yeah, other uh, thing, can I in interject yeah. real quick? You can also, um, on the they have a team Beachbody podcast. So
so, so I go through sometimes like and I can see what is like something that's important to me at the time that I missed so you can w- watch past ones. It's just NWC replay on the Team Beachbody podcast. So you can you can't watch, but you can listen to what they have to say. Yeah, as thanks well. for bringing that up, Crystal. That's awesome, for sure. And um, so you always have access to those res- resources, for sure. And the other Facebook group that is really awesome, if you are looking for like graphics or um, tools, is called Boss Babes Mastermind. All right. So it it, it there are a ton of posts in it. Uh, so just know that you will probably get notifications like crazy in that group, but they have so much pictures and stories and things like that that you can save um, for your own, you know, to use. All right, this is about the time when people usually kind of have to start signing off. So I'm going to ask if we can take a picture. I don't know why Clara so much. Larissa. There she is. Everybody, oh, Simon's trying. Smile. Oh, who left? Debbie left. <laughs> <laughs> I got one anyway. All right, who else? Questions, things to go over. Remember, all questions are fair or totally awesome because every single one of us is at a different part. Oh, um, I watched the goal setting by what's her name, Sarah. Yeah, yeah it was really good. Um, it really pumped up my new year and what kind of goals I want to have within Team Beach Body as well. So that's what I'm working on right now. I was pretty, um, I actually am just about halfway through it. I started watching it this morning. And Clarissa asked me the other day, and I'm surprised you didn't, she didn't say this to me, um, because she said, what are your, what's your, if you had one word for the year, what would it be? And I looked at her and said, you know, I think my word would be intentional. And then I started listening to Sarah's call this morning, and Sarah's word is intentional. <laughs> and I was like, oh, wow, that was kind of trippy. <laughs> because we didn't talk about it, um, but we have the same same word. I actually have three words for the year that I put into an acronym. Does anyone else have any any words for the week? Consistency. Consistency is max word. I like that. Anyone else want to share? Have a word or two or three or an acronym? Mm. Unapologetic. I like that one too. Vulnerability. Ooh. Being don't real, be right? Like yeah. authenticity. Don't fuck up. That's not a word because you just <laughs> told yourself to fuck up. So it would be you need to tell yourself the opposite. Like rock fuck this fucking year. Fuck up a lot. No. Rock <laughs> this fucking year. You're telling yourself to fuck up. Because you're saying don't. Your brain doesn't work that way because then you have to like process it and negate it. So you need to have a phrase that's going to inspire you to show up. I got nothing. You got it. It's there. Are you going, are you going to do the 12 week um, group? I don't know what's the book, <laughs> what the book is called, but what's your plan on that? Yeah. 12 week year. What's your plan on that? I'm doing that book? Yeah. Oh, we can do that book for sure. Or do you, but I don't have the book. Do you recommend that I go on Audible or like start getting I it? I the book. What? what? I was actually, I was going to actually bring that book up. Thanks for bringing that up. Okay. Tamara has always said, if I'm getting stuck, it's because of personal development or professional development. And Tamara, can I say, where are you? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I'm muted. So Tamara, yeah. can I just say you're right? Where'd you go? <laughs> I'm here. Oh, okay. Because you always tell me that whenever I get in my own way and I get stuck, it's because of personal development. So I got the book for Christmas and it is, and I always thought, oh, you know, it's just, it's too kind of business and building and not that I'm, that's not what I want to do, but there's so much good stuff that I think that anybody it can you can apply it to 
any part of your life, um, whether it's your health goals, whether it's your relationship goal, like it's just, it's such a great book and there's so much in it that you can, if you're struggling for content for your social media or just things you want to share, there's just so many um, really good, good things in it. So highly recommend that book. I, it's an easy read, um, already taken a lot of um, great stuff out of it. So um, thanks for uh, reminding me that I should do personal development tomorrow. And I'm going to, and I have the compound effect. So I'm going to start that one after I finish this one. Okay. So I think what we could do is we could definitely do the 12 week year. The other thing we can do with the 12 week year is the 12 week year comes with a field guide. Like I was wondering about that. Actually write in. So I don't think I have the hard copy of the 12 week year. I think I have the digital version of the 12 week year, but I have the hard copy of the field guide and I started it and I didn't finish it and I want to finish it. So maybe what we could do is kind of do both where we like do the 12 week year, but then also do the, the field guide. Um, it really doesn't matter to me if you do audio or if you do reading a book. Um, I've done most of my books on Audible because I, I can put my headphone in when I'm driving home from dropping my kids off somewhere or when I'm sitting at soccer watching or waiting for one of them to finish or when I'm in the grocery store, I often have my headphones in. Um, that's when I do most of my listening. So it really, whatever works for you, uh, I just would, re I really think that it would be such a good habit for our team to get in is like one book a month for the year. Uh, if we want to do more, great. Uh, and then I'm also attempting to read the mind gut connection because I'm really interested in that sort of stuff and how much our, our the microbiome inside our gut affect our like depression or happiness or whatever it is right like um that's a fun, i find really fascinating so i think that it's important for us to be doing things that fill us but also that are going to move us forward in life not just in business but in life too so um yeah the compound effect this month and then we can definitely look at what we hear for next month and we'll get I do like the, the, the fit club book club really, because yeah. um, we, we can sort of, it's almost holding ourselves accountable, not only to our fitness and stuff, but also our mindset. Um, totally so, agree. And book clubs are huge right now. So even, even I posted a little bit about our fit club, fit club book club. <laughs> and I've had a few people say, like it. And that's a great idea. I love that book or whatever. So even it can be used as a tool to start, introducing our lifestyle to new people just just so you know Absolutely. i have a question though a business question <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. does anybody know so one of my new coaches um she received she she i we, we were at the beginning we chatted a lot and then she sort of had a very 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 busy december so i didn't get a chance to chat with her and she got it her next shipment was coming and she we had a long talk about it yesterday. She's, but she was kind of upset that she was getting another shipment and she didn't know she was and blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, you do get a, an email a week before. Cause I get one that's nourishing. I just got it yesterday, nourishing your busy life. And then you have seven days to change your order or postpone it or whatever you want to do. And she said, she called in yesterday and Beachbody said, they don't send out those emails anymore. Is that true? Really? I get that. I didn't understand. I'll phone them tomorrow because I'm not sure what she's talking about. Because as a coach, well, I mean, I got mine and I'm thinking, well, is it because of brand new people? They're just not not sending out the reminder, which doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense. Um, I think this is one of the things that I, it kind of, I don't know how to word this delicately. It kind of bothers me because we're grownups and I get that life is full, but if I'm going to sign up for 75 emails that I'm subscribing to, it's my fault. Like I, when they, I was telling Carson the other day, I went onto my email and I had 76 new emails and it was all like just nothing, you know? And so I just unsubscribed from everything. It's my responsibility to know when my next shipment is coming. And so I think what we need to do with that is when we are talking to our coaches 
um, and clients and they're getting started, have them like remind them to put a note in their calendar or a reminder in their phone to check their coach, to check their, not their coach office, their Team Beach Body account, you know, after they've got notification that their package has shipped, right? So that they can see where their, what their next order is. Because I had one person like freaking out on me that they were getting charged for the Beach Body on demand again. And I, I was like, what are you talking about? Like, can you send me a picture? And <laughs> the picture was like one year from now because that's the one that shows up is the one year from when you signed up for the beach body on the And she was like freaking out on me. And I was like, whoa, 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 look at the year. Like that's when your beach body on demand is going to be charged. And she was like, Oh, I'm so sorry. You know, like, and, and because she was thinking, don't I get this for a year? And I was like, yeah, there's the charge right there. So we need to put that responsibility on them. This is what we signed up for. This is the reason that we signed up for it. A, we want you to try it for at least three months. But um, B, it saves you money on shipping. C, manage it in your account, right? And teach them how to do that so we empower them to be in control. So it's not one of those like, oh, you never told me that, yada, 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 right? So. I, I do, yeah, I do. Like, I do, do I, sorry, I do do that and I did do that with her but I think it was just over information overload at the beginning and she was really excited about doing it and all that stuff and then over the course of December I reached out to her maybe half a dozen times but we never connected so I never I never had a chance to talk to her again or and, and I didn't know what her questions were or anything because she just never replied so, yeah. so maybe and then the only system, like just tell them you know okay I want you to put a uh calendar alert in your phone for three weeks from now um, to talk to me about your subscription order, right? And so then in three weeks from now, they message you and be like, oh, I just got a reminder on my phone to talk to you about blah, 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 right? So it at least puts that responsibility on them too. Um, I try and do my follow-ups that way, like to remind people, but I, it's not one of the things that I've been the best at. Um, one of the things that I found in, so Christina and we get those, you know how we post the weekly meal plans in the Facebook group and in the blog group? Um, it's part of this like mompreneur website where we get like, sometimes when I share the stories or even that January posting schedule, it all comes from her. Um, and she actually has a free group for, um, what did she call it? Mornings? It's like something mornings. So I was thinking of doing it um, and just running a, and having, because I have all the posts, I don't need, like she even has a writing in a group, literally you just be plugging people into, into a group and doing that. So um, you let me know if any of you want to do that together and we can run like a morning um, free group for Jen. I just thought it might be fun to try it and see because everything's already done. So what do you mean? Like just a free Facebook group? So yeah. yeah, I'm trying to think, what did she call Mindful mornings is what she called it. Oh. So, so is it an exercise or is it a mind like getting together and just starting your day off with positive people around you? I actually don't even know um, because I, okay. didn't, I didn't really look at it. She gave um, some Instagram stories. She gave some graphics for the group. Um, I can look what one of them says. It's tips and suggestions for starting your morning off positively and stuff. I, I've done it in one of my free groups before. Yeah. It's, it's really good. People liked it. Yeah. And my morning one groups have tend to, tended to be really well received. Um, I've done a few of them and I've done a few hydration challenges. And those for me are the ones that I've had most, most success with. So um, anyway, I'm game to put it together. And if anyone wants to get people in. A great conversation like starting point and we can see how that goes. Mm -hmm. Great. I'm in. Okay. Anyone else have any questions or things they'd like to go over? I have a question. <laughs> yeah. 
kind of a ridiculous question, but I'm not a big social media person. I never, as you know, Tamara, I don't post much. Um, I'm trying to. I'm totally on board with this new Autumn Calibres. I love her. I, I got the program. I'm ready to go tomorrow. I did one of the workouts last week just to see how it's going to be. And it looks really good. So I've posted or, you know, shared some of her posts. And I, of course, immediately from family get posts back that say, well, that's not you. You know, I'm like, yeah, no kidding. It's not me. <laughs> I'm not saying it's me. You know, I'm like asking who wants to join me on this journey, right? So yeah. would you guys recommend, like, should I maybe have like a business site, um, social media where I post there and not on my personal? Like, how do you? Uh, no, I wouldn't recommend doing that because okay. then you spread yourself too thin and nobody really wants, unless you're like, autumn calories you know nobody really right. wants to just follow a fitness page like I don't I'm not inspired by it um people want to know you and they want to know your journey and they want to know um so one of the things and I know MJ hopped off that I've noticed that Mary Jo is doing uh, mm -hmm. is she'll take her own picture and then she'll put like the pictures of her sharing the work like whatever the autumn stuff is that you were sharing and in that would be like a, a wording of like, you know, join me on this journey so that people see that it's both you guys. Um, I don't personally share anything like that Autumn would create because it's my journey, um, but I'm at that point. I'm, I'm, I understand where you are and I understand the um, pushback from like family because family tends to be the ones that push back the hardest, right? Uh, and uh, so maybe just incorporating you into that post a little bit more. Okay. Right? Would mm -hmm. be, yeah, because then people aren't, they can't say that to you. That's not you. Like, yeah, I wasn't uh, saying it was me. I was like, hey, I'm starting this new program. You know, yeah. like, who wants to come join me on this journey? Like, who wants to do this with me? And, you know, yeah. I just, a few people coming back with, well, that's not even you. Like, well, yeah, I'm asking if you guys want to do it with me. Like, come on. Yeah. The other thing that I like to do in situations like that is um, if you don't feel comfortable yet with the adding yourself into the picture or whatever it is, make the post funny. Okay. This is my goal. I'm going to be like this woman who's joining, you know what I mean? Like put it in the wording of the post instead of in the, the picture if you're just not there yet. Okay. Or actually, right, I know this isn't me this is my dream this is my goal this is how i'm going to get here who wants to do it with me? right so you're almost dealing with the objection in the post and it will help with your confidence it helps keep it light people like it when we're you know lighter in our posts and funnier and like don't life is so serious that they like it when we kind of jest or joke in there um, a little bit of sarcasm and and you'll probably get a different response because it also is then you coming across as a little more confident like yeah i know that's not me but this is my journey and i'm going to stick to it and you know um who's going to do it with me so does that does that help yeah and it's really powerful to address people's um what is that like their objections objections to you in a post or whatever like being able to do that is so is so handy because then people read it and they're like, oh, okay, well, I can't say that's not her because she's obviously already said that. So there's no point to say that again. Like, mm -hmm. and people saying that they're probably just not ready and they're jealous or uncomfortable that you are ready to start a journey. So don't take that personally at all. Just want to say that too. <laughs> yeah, sure. I use just so you know, too, and I've mentioned it to a few people on our team your animals you're you're just if, if you're not comfortable with posting a photo of you which a lot of people aren't you know I I'm I'm now gotten to and I wasn't definitely at the beginning forget it but I've learned now to do funny bit and I'm I like funny that's my shtick really we so. never know that about Margo <laughs> you're telling me <laughs> sorry but I'll if just you go have... back and buy my own business <laughs> If you have a dog or a cat or a, or some some or anything or even funny gifts or whatever or gifts or gifs or whatever you call them um, with animals or whatever, 
and you post them, it sort of, it does lighten the mood. And, um, and, and Debbie has a really cute, well, she has three cute dogs, but one in particular that I really love. And she'll post like maybe some photos with uh, T-Bone, which is a big bulldog uh, with a couple of weights beside him or a couple of, or a pair of runners or a, or a yoga mat or, or just something. You can take like 10 pictures in one day and then just save them and then post them and say, oh no, T-Bone said he wanted to work out what I don't feel like it today, but he's making me or something like that. And it just, it'll get you in the mood, in the, not in the mood, <laughs> in the, um, that, oh, that. guess who that is? <laughs> that's, hey! that's, that's my partner in crime. Um, but it'll get you in the habit of starting to post and, and people will start watching and laughing and thinking, oh, that's funny. Oh, that's hilarious. So it helps you to learn the social media stuff in a very non-intimidating way, but also saying that you're, I'm pushing play today, I'm pushing play tomorrow, I'm pushing play three days from now, I'm pushing play four days, you know, it'll keep you going type of thing. In a fun one, one last thing before we start um, signing off is, and then this is for all of you, but also for people that watch the recording, is when they announce the Beach Body Success Club trip, you have to opt in, all right? Doesn't mean you have to pay anything. Doesn't mean you have to do anything with it, but you have to opt in to even be invited off the list, all right? So that will, I'm, I'm almost 100% positive that will either happen tomorrow on the wake up call with Carl, or it will happen next weekend on at the Super Saturday. And then there will be like a website for it. It's usually like, success club trip 2022 or something like that uh and you go to it and you just opt in all right and then you would get an invite off of that list if they're if you meet your goals and and blah 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 but you won't even get an invite off that list if you don't opt in. all right so just a quick reminder about that um anything else okay it's january 2021 my friends Woo! So my, uh, my acronym, and I know it's kind of funny, is FIT, which has nothing to do with being FIT. It's fulfilled, intentional, and tenacious. Those are my three words for, for this year. So I figured it was very fitting. Oh, that's a good, that's, that's really good. I'm so pumped for this year. We got to move on, <laughs> got to move on. <laughs> yeah. Get healthy. And drag a bunch of people with you. Yeah. That's true. For sure. All right, my friends, enjoy the rest of your your January third, and I will uh, we will chat throughout the week. I will get the email out as soon as possible. Margo, send me your coaches that want the email, and so that I can get them on the list today. Okay. Have a good one, my friends. Bye. You too.